Hi there, hope you have a fantastic day today. This lesson, I will go through a demo NetPlan test paper with you. And there's a link on the description below so you can try it yourself before your NetPlan test. So let's get into it. So today we just go through numeracy. So we just click on numeracy. For most of us, we choose standard test, okay? So if you click any of these, that's just to improve your visual, that's all. And if you click on color, for example, color themes, and you can choose all these options just to help to improve your reading. So for most of us, we just click on standard. So let me just click back. So we just go to standard test. And these code here, your teacher will provide you with these code on the whiteboard. So you just copy that down and you click next. And this code here is the teacher will provide you with a piece of paper and with your name. So you just type this code in. That is yours code. And then you click next. And we just need to confirm that is us. So that means it's you. So you just click yes. So then we just start a test. So now these are options you need to familiar. So this option here is to enlarge um, this page. So 100% is right now. And if you click on 150, it will increase to 150. And you know that if you increase 150, the next button is move down. So you have to use the mouse move up and down. So let me just make it to 100. And you can hide the time by just click hide. And of course, you, you can display by click on the clock again. And this is the ruler. So if you click on the ruler, it will appear and you can click on the ruler by using your mouse pad and then just drag it. Okay, move around and then you can turn by go to this red dot here and just click and then just move around. Okay, and to hide it, you click the ruler button again. And this is a protractor. If you click this, it pop up and then you drag on the protractor and move around. Okay, and then you go on to this red dot here, click the mouse pad and then just move around and it will turn for you. Okay, we're going to use these options just to um, for the purpose of demonstration. Okay, so just click this and it hide again. And this button here will play when you click play. Okay, and then it will read it for you. Ava has one eighth of a cup of flour. She needs three quarters of a cup of flour for a recipe she wants to make. How much more flour does Ava need for the recipe? So let's try this question here. So to work this out, so we just go three quarter minus one eight. And please note that there is no calculator side on here. So therefore it's non-calculator part. So you can quickly work on a piece of paper that's provided by your teacher. And then you just work out from there. So I just go three quarter minus one eight. So the common denominator must be the same. So just times this by two, times this by two. So that is six over eight with minus one eight. So six minus one is five. So five eight is the answer. So I just pick five eight and then I click next. Question two. So we can just click this play button here and it read it for us if you need it. Okay. Otherwise, read it yourself. So we know that Bob made a profit of 6,000, which is more than Karen, which is 4,000. So we just use 6,405 and 70 cents with minus 4,070 and 95 cents. So just quickly work on a piece of paper and then we just type the answer out. So it just goes 6405.70 with minus 4070.95. So now we know that 10 cannot minus 5. We borrow 1 from here. So that is 6 and this is 1. So 10 minus 5 is 5. And 6 cannot minus 9. So we just borrow 1 from here. That becomes 4. That becomes 16. So 10 minus 9 is 5, at 6 is 7. And the decimal point, we write it down. The 4 minus 0 is 4. And we borrow 1 from here, that give me 3, that give me 10. 10 minus 7 is 3. 
and 3 minus 0 is 3. And 6 minus 4 is 2. So 2, 3, 3, 4.75. So just put them in. 2, 3, 3, 4. Point seventy-five. So I just click next. Question three. Emily has sixty identical tiles. She uses them to make a flower pattern. Each flower pattern needs seven tiles. How many complete flower patterns can Emily make? So we just need to go sixty divided by seven, and we know that seven times eight is fifty-six, and seven times nine is sixty-three. So she can only make eight of them okay eight question four jason wants to calculate the following so 35 times 62 so we need to choose the correct expressions so 35 times 60 plus 35 times 2 and we know 62 is 60 plus 2 so that means 35 times 60 plus 35 times 2 so that is correct so there you go. But if I choose the wrong one, so what I do, I can deselect it by clicking again and then choose a different one. Okay, so I know this one correct. So I just click. And the next one is 30 times 62 and plus 5 times 62. So we know that 35 is 30 plus 5. So therefore, this is 30 times 62 and 5 times 62. That is correct. And next one is 30 times 5 plus 60 times 2. So that is wrong, okay? So next one, and we know that 30 times 60 plus 5 times 60, so that will give me 35 times 60. And we have 30 times 2 plus 5 times 2, so same as 35 times 2. So therefore, that is correct. And the last one, 5 times 62 and 5 times 2 and 30 times 60, so that is wrong. Okay, so keep that in mind. And if you're not so sure, you can flag this first. And of course, you can come back later. Okay, so let's just flag this. Okay, of course, you can unflag by clicking again. Okay, so keep that in mind. So I click next. Now we finished non-calculator part. So ask us if you want to go back and check the answer before we move on next part. Of course, we can go back by click no and it will bring us back to the previous part. But we don't want to move on. So just click yes. Now let's move to calculator section. So you can see calculator appear on the screen here. So you can use calculator. Okay, keep that in mind. We need to choose all the pieces that are triangles in the 10 gram below. So we need to select the triangles. So this is a triangle. We select this and triangle we select and triangle. And this is triangle, this is triangle. So if we accidentally select this shape here, so we can undo it by select this again okay so we, we go back we select it again it will deselect so we select all the triangles and then we just click next so there you go question six so we know that Kara is in the middle of the garden facing the bird bath so that is here she's here and facing this way okay she worked west three pavers so she go one two three Kara then turn north and walks three pavers. So you go one, two, three to north. She then turns to the east and walks two pavers. So you go one, two. So that is her here, okay? Click and then that's it. Now, if I want to deselect, if I may make a mistake, I can click it again, it unclick, okay? So we just choose the one we think is correct. But in this case, this is the answer, which is click again. And we just click next. So there you go. Look spins the arrow on the spinner once. Place these events into order from impossible to certain. So first of all, we know that the smallest number is 5 and the largest number is 25. So we just go through this process. So landing on a number less than 5. So we know that the smallest number is 5. So it's impossible, okay, to land a number that less than 5. So we click this sentence here and which is drag okay so impossible so i just put on impossible here landing on an odd number so let's try a different sentence first landing a number less than 30 
so you can see all the numbers are less than 30 so it's certain okay definitely if you wish so there you go and landing on a number divisible by 10 so you can see one two only two numbers that is divisible by 10 out of five so therefore the probability that less than a half so therefore we can just put it on here that is less than a half landing on an odd number so we have five number all together and three are odd so therefore is more than a half so we can put here so there you go so that's the answer so if you think this is the answer so we just click next question eight match each net with the object it makes so first one here so we know that it is a triangle pyramid so we just click triangle pyramid and if you make a mistake of course you click again and it will deselect for you okay so i just click this and the second one is a triangular prism so we just click this and then last one is a square pyramid so we just click on this so there you go and then we just click next Question nine. So we need to match these shapes with the correct vertices. So this is triangle. So we have three vertices. So three corner, if you wish. So what you do, you click on the shapes and you drag to three vertices. Okay. So this is correct one. Now, if you think you make a mistake, so what you do, you go to the line and it turn red and you just click it again and we delete it for you. Okay. Keep that in mind. Or to select you can also go to three vertices and you drag and then go to the triangle okay so now these shapes here we have one two three four vertices so you drag you click on the shapes and you drag across and last one is five vertices is for the pentagon so you can also click on the vertices and you drag across so there you go okay don't forget i can delete it by just moving to the move the mouse to the um, line and turn red i just select it again it will delete it for you so we just click next so we need to measure the length of the car so to do this so we need ruler so we just click on the ruler button here it appear you hold the mouse on it and you click on the mouse pad and then you drag it and don't forget we need to start from zero don't start from here because this is not zero okay so you move to the zero here okay so that is six centimeters so the answer is six centimeters so just choose six and then we just click next and then the ruler is still here so we we need to hide it to hide it we click the ruler button again so it disappears now we need to measure this angle so we need the protractor so what we do, we click on the protractor and we move the protractor to the shapes. So what we do, we just click on the protractor anywhere inside the protractor and then we move. Okay, just use a mouse pad and move. Make sure this line here, okay, is right on the line and right in the corner there. So make sure and there you go. Okay, so to read the protractor, of course, we always start with zero. So it's start with zero is the line that inside so we'll read the number inside here okay so not 70 because we start from zero so go here so the angle is 110 degrees so we just type that 110 we don't need to put the, the degrees symbol because it's already here okay keep that in mind so i just click the protractor symbol again so to hide it so i just click next question 12 Myra buys a thousand plants at $2.25 each. She sells 350 of these plants for $6 each. Myra sells the rest of the plants in a sale for a dollar each. So we need to work out whether she make a profit or loss and by how much. So to work it out, we just need to work out how much she might first by selling all the plants and then we minus the cost. The cost is a thousand times two dollars and 25 cents so we quickly use the calculator to work that out okay so we just need to work out how many plants that sell for a dollar so we know that 350 plants for six dollars so the remaining is a dollar each 
So we just go a thousand. So one thousand minus three fifty. So there you go, six hundred and fifty. So that is the rest of the plan. So that is she sold it for a dollar. So that means she gets six fifty dollars for that. And then she need to add three hundred and fifty plants, sell it for six dollars. So we just go we add. 350 times six dollars so that will give me this so that is her total income so then we need to minus the cost that is a thousand times two dollars and 25 cents so we just go minus a thousand times 2.25 so there you go five hundred dollars that is a profit because it's positive so we just select 500 first and the profit. So there you go. So let me just hide the calculator by clicking on the calculator symbol and we just click next. Last one. So we know that 85 plays cricket, 75 swum, 40 neither play cricket, no swum. So that means 40 is outside the uh, circle. So we just go to 40, we click on it using a mouse pad, and then we just move around and move to this box here, okay? So if you make a mistake, of course, you can click again and move it out, okay? So keep that in mind and just move back here. So there you go, that is going back to the box. So we just click it again. So that is 40 here. And then we know that 85 play cricket and 75 swum, so this means that we only have one odd number. So it have to be in between because there are two numbers here. So that odd should be here. And to make cricket 85, we already have 25. So we need 60. So put 60 in the box and then 50 here. So swimming should be 75. So 25 plus 50, 75. So 75 swung. Okay. So that's how you do it. And of course, that's just a demo. So to learn properly with Venn diagram, please go to the description below so you can um, learn Venn diagram properly. So let me just click next. See what happened. So there you go. Okay, so I didn't flag any. If you have clicked on the flag button earlier, so you can always go here and click and it will, it will bring you back to those questions and then you can do it again. Okay, if you have time. Please try it yourself before your net plan test by clicking on the link on the description below and let me know how you go. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.